Good morning. We're back to Gospel of Luke, and we're at chapter 5, and now we're going to look at verses 9 through 11. Let's come to it. Jesus, you know, was teaching on the shore. They went out in the boat. Jesus gives them a miraculous catch of fish. Peter bows down at the feet of Jesus and says, Depart from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. He doesn't depart, thank goodness. But anyway, hear the rest of this now as we finish this segment. Verse 9, For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Okay, so here we come to the conclusion of this segment here, and it's really amazing, and there's good insight for us here. So everybody's amazed at the miraculous catch of fish, and this is where James and John, and you know, there's a whole group here that are going to become Jesus' disciples, his apostles even. But notice Jesus' response to Simon. Simon said, uh, Lord, go away from me. I'm, I'm a sinful man. And Jesus says to the sinful man, Jesus doesn't deny you're a sinful man, but look at this remarkable response to Simon. Do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. Jesus is taking us to something higher. Whatever it is you're doing, you know, there's a calling you're in. And as long as you're doing God's will there, then by all means do it. But he added to that always, wherever you are, you're always called to catch men. We are called to catch men. Well, that sounds like, oh, we're compelling them. No, we're not going to compel anybody. But what our business is, is to be transformed by Jesus, be forgiven by him, and that our life would be so different from what it used to be that, that people will be astonished and people will say, hey, th 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 this person's got something I don't have, but he's got something I sure would like to have. And we should have a walk with Jesus that's so close that we that people want it and that we can be representatives and help them with the steps they need to take to draw close to Jesus, Point, pointing them to the scriptures, pointing them to Jesus' plan to forgive our sins and transform us and give us new life through Jesus. So friends, from now on you will catch men. That wasn't just for Peter. That wasn't just for me, you know. That's for you. That's for every disciple. Let's pray to Jesus as every disciple. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us to fulfill this call that you make to Peter. Help us, Lord, to catch men. Help us to help people find their way to the throne, to the foot of the throne, the foot of the cross, and give their hearts to Jesus, Lord. Whoever they are, wherever they are, wherever we are, just the right things to say and do that will facilitate that. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Just as there's a miracle catching the fish, God will use you and I for miracles sharing Jesus with those who need him so much, men and women and children. God bless you.